Hey everybody, happy Thursday, happy day before Friday. Anyway, everybody that works, you know, a regular job every day, Monday through Friday, happy day before Friday. I appreciate you and your hard work. Somebody's gotta help me make this dream come true. <laughs> anyway, I am gonna go out and have a little business meeting, social meeting with a friend. And then I need to do some R&D out in these grocery store streets. So check out where I'm going. Hey everybody, I am in Decatur. A friend of mine told me about this store called First Oriental Market. And I'm in love. There's black tapioca, boba, rainbow boba more boba. They've got instant Thai tea that I picked up in my basket. A bag of still Thai tea mix, but it does not have any non-dairy creamer. It's just the tea. I'm excited. Got lots of good things. Cookie utensils serving utensils, foods that aren't readily found all over. Sometimes you gotta take an adventure to find the places that have the hidden gems that you might not need yet, but probably need in the future. Got some seaweed here for some good Ross. Huge lotus leaves, gigantic bags of dehydrated red chili. I feel like some sambal making is in my future for sure. Been wanting to make some homemade sambal. I bet if I smoked some chilies or made the sambal and then smoked it. Nobody's gonna be ready for that. There's a lot of stuff in here that, <clears throat> I'll be honest, I don't know what it is, but that's the fun part. Because if I see something that looks interesting, what do we do? That's what Uncle Google is for. Uncle Google can tell you everything. <laughs> so, like those lotus leaves that I just showed, I'm gonna ask Uncle Google what to do with it and then decide if it's gonna show up on a menu for a dinner or party one day. Hey. All right, hey everybody, I'm back from my exploration and shopping trip for today. Um, after I left the first Oriental Market, the place I was at earlier in the video, uh, I went down the street to a store out here in the Atlanta area called um, the Your DeCab Farmer's Market. Now, they do not let you take video or pictures at all in there. I mean, you can sneak, but they're watching and they'll tell you to put your phone away. Um, so I couldn't record while in there, so I'll just have to show you what I got. They have lots of, they always have fantastic fresh vegetables and herbs, uh, great meat, halal meat. Um, organic meat when it comes down to red meat they have bison they have grass-fed beef all types of things so let me show you what I bought today all right so right here these are carrots but they're red carrots excited to see how they cook up if they keep that nice red color um, our family is working on our health and our diet and we are trying to focus on having clean proteins and vegetables. Um, don't get it twisted. I still enjoy um, <laughs> the delicious fat, fat things too. But So I got some speckled trout that I'm really excited to cook up. Have some chicken livers because pate is in order sometime soon. Got some ground lamb. That's actually for tonight's dinner and recipe um, research. Fresh dill, fresh mint, hunk of butter, great sea salt, 
some organic whipping cream that does not have artificial thickeners in it. Notice the next time you buy heavy whipping cream from a regular store, even the organic brands that are in your regular store, turn it. It is not going to say, hold on. It is not going to say certified organic grade A cream and contains cream. Nope, yours is gonna say contains cream and carrageenan, which is a artificial thickener. Don't put that in your body. Anyway, we have some plain Greek yogurt because I have some frozen mango and I plan on making some mango lassies. Got some parsley, ginger, and then of course, my bounty from the Asian market. Gonna make some boba tea. And this is what we have. I understand that grocery shopping is not enjoyable for some people. And that's because often we're just in a rush and we're in our daily rut. I'm there too. I'm there too, but there are times that I allow myself to wander and go explore. It'll make the experience more enjoyable and you'll actually feel more inspired to do some cooking. So, hope you enjoyed this little short. This isn't the smoking section, this is just Pam of Pam's Magic Cauldron, kind of giving you a little insight into my day. All right, see you later.